With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is like the cations and anions present in the following compounds. Okay. Now, the cations are the ions which are positively charged. Okay. And anions are the ones which are negatively charged. Right. So, uh, cations are electron deficient species and anions are electron rich species. Right. So, if I talk about the first one which is CH3COONA, it is made up of CH3COO negative and Na plus. Right. So, what happens here? Na plus is the cation which is positively charged and acetate ion is the anion. Okay. Now, coming on to the B. B is NaCl. So, in NaCl, Na is plus 1 and Cl is minus 1. This means that, this means that Cl negative is a anion because it is negatively charged and Na plus is the cation. Okay. Coming on to the C part, the C part is H2. Now, talking about H2, what happens? A covalent bond is present between two hydrogen atoms, right? So, there is no polarity, right? There is no electronegativity difference. No electronegativity difference, right? So, for cation and anion to exist there has to be an electronegativity difference and there has to be electrostatic forces of attraction but here they have weak van der Waals forces of attraction the bonds formed are covalent and there is no electronegativity difference so it does not contain any cation or anion so it does not contain any anion and cation right now talking about the d part the d part is NH4, NO3. So, in NH4, NO3, NH4 is positively charged and NO3 is negatively charged. So, what do we have? We have NO3 negative as the anion and NH4 plus which is ammonium ion as the cation. Okay. So, that's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.